Welcome to Bolivia, Brad. It's good to be here. Yeah. Just, just hanging out on the dock of the bay. Uh-huh. Just uh, hanging out with my friends and my guns. And your sick hoodie. Doing friend and gun stuff. Hmm. Um, this is Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands. I've heard of that. Yeah, uh, and uh, it's a it's primarily a, a designed as a four player game. This is AI here. Mm. We're actually having pretty constant issues here. I don't know if I can pull up are you the connected. You are on. I'm connected right now, but not for long. Not for long. It, it'll you'll probably see a pop up message uh, disconnecting us from Ubisoft servers over and over again over the course of this video. This seems to be how it's been going. Seems like. Something is going on between our offices, NAT, and all Ubisoft games. Is that my understanding? Yeah. So this is a, a kind of a widespread issue, I guess, uh, for people that are in a strict NAT network situation, uh, like we are here right now. Um, and uh, it's probably the same problem we had with Steep. We were going to record a Steep quick look, yeah. but couldn't uh, because it wouldn't stay connected to the server for longer than 20 seconds. And in that game, as soon as you drop it, it actually drops you from the game. This one is a little more graceful. <laughs> oh, wow, did we actually just never do a quick look? We never did a quick look of Steve. We couldn't. <laughs> that uh, it, it, it wouldn't work. The game uh, seemed kind of okay. Yeah, uh, and uh, it sounds like some people have had similar problems with Watch Dogs. Other people are having this problem out in the wild. Mm. Um, and it's a bummer. Uh, but also, like, I don't know. I might prefer playing this game alone. Because mm. uh, either way, I don't know that I think it's a particularly great game. Mm. Um, Okay, here we go. Once we're inside the factory, uh -huh. we take out control systems and cocaine stocks. Then we get the hell out. Done. Get in, run around, and break shit. Copy that. We've got to take out the cocaine stocks. What are you, uh, gonna, what are you gonna do with them? Uh, we're we're uh, gonna destroy uh, a bunch of cocaine here, I guess. Which this is actually maybe the first mission I've seen so far that has actually been taking action. Oh shit, that's a person. Hang back, that tango my spot. Okay, we're just gonna. Oh, that, that, that's, no, that's a bad. That's, okay. Mm. Problem solved. Okay, yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, you, you can play this game on, uh, online, and it, uh, communication is really crucial for that, because it really is, you know, it's an open world game. You can kind of just end up going all over the place if you're not talking to each other, and, and you know, it's a relatively large world, so... Uh, you know, you can kind of fast travel to other players and stuff like that as, as a way to kind of stay together, but... Uh, in my experience, uh, playing the game with strangers, it, it was, it's been terrible mm. in terms of just like everyone running off doing their own thing. And then suddenly, you know, it's just like playing the offline that way, except you don't have three murderous AI uh, associates with you. Um, so, you know, playing the game, communicating like that, you know, it seems like there would be some fun to be had. Um, but, uh, you know, if you're playing with people, you know, if you're playing with people, you know, yes. Um, so I got my drone here. And we're gonna go around and we're gonna look at people and mark them, and then we're gonna set them up for oh, sync shots. You can mark from the drone? Yeah. Oh, man. And so we've got three targets marked here. We're gonna wait for our guys to. They don't actually move. We're gonna hold down that button, and all three of those guys are now dead. Yeah. Heads up, we got a turret. Um, and you wait for the cooldown. And we wait for the cooldown, we do, do it again. some more. <laughs> yeah. Basically, yeah. I had no idea you could do it from the drone. Oh, yeah, yeah. You can do it from the binoculars as well, but, yeah. uh, but you know. The, the drone is, the, is really the way to do it. Well, I thought, uh, well, because you can also, you can execute the sync shot by taking your own shot. Right, yes. Uh, but but yeah, if you're, you can, you, you don't have to do that, like, if you have, if I have people marked right now, I could actually just hold down this and hold down X and, and do it this way too. Uh, like if the drone's on cooldown or something, you, yeah. can, you can always still do your sync shot. Um, all right, so cooldown done. Let's uh, clear the uh, more of a path. Let's get that guy Target's and marked. that guy because they're together. So we want to make sure we get them. Uh, I've upgraded sync shot to be able to hit three targets at once. That was also the first thing I did. Yeah, uh, that's the that's that's the right way to go. Uh, and you'll notice that my guys don't really move when they're lining up these sync shots. It's all kind of fake. Oh, like the the game treats the the AI uh, your AI as invisible. So like they won't break stealth. So you'll see a lot of situations where like your guys are out in full view of enemy troops, but they're not activating alarms or anything like that. Like it, it's, uh, you know, having the game go the other way would be uh, a lot more difficult and kind of a hassle. Um, so I understand why you would do that, but it does look real dumb. Um, okay, let's uh, get this guy over here. 
Uh, on the mini map, when you're when we're droning around here, you can actually see these little these little heat spots on the map. I got a target carrying submachine guns. Uh, and if you see a heat spot, that means there's an unmarked enemy somewhere in that zone. So if we go over here, there should be some more. Where's I think. Target marked. Yeah, I see, kind of off here. And as you mark them, the the kind of vague spots disappear from the map. So it's very easy with the drone to know when you've cleared out an entire location. Because there's no more heat. Yeah, and that's kind of crazy how uh, how easy that makes part of the game. So this guy's inside, so you'll see that like you know like it's my my guys are having trouble acquiring him. So it does occasionally take reality into account when you're doing this stuff, but it kind of seems almost random at times how that's going to go. All right, well, we may not be able to get these guys with uh, sync shots. So. so this is basically just how you're clearing every location now? Yeah. Mm. And, you know, sometimes if uh, if someone finds a body or sees a body drop, like, you know, there's, there's still risk. It's just not direct risk. I got a narco over here. There, by the container. And sometimes your AI guys will mark people for you. Like that, just, that's what just happened there. Some of the dialogue I've heard around the marking is kind of cool. That's a kill. Uh, in kind of an ambient sense. Like, yeah. Like, like as the, you're marking people, they'll call out, like, how many people you've yeah, marked and like what two by the, Yeah, two by the truck, or, or, or yeah, like hey, that we've marked nine people. Or, and or, kind of what types of things you're facing. Like it, Right. It's a neat way to convey information. Uh, as I've said on the podcast, that dialogue gets very repetitive. Yeah. Uh, as you're marking people, like, they will just kind of tell the same dumb jokes. It's just kind of lame. Um, all right, this is actually not a safe spot for me to be, but I'll just try and do this quickly. Mark that guy. Mark that guy. And how about that guy? Sure. Roger that. Target marked. Ready. Call the shot. <laughs> this is ridiculous. All right, those guys are dead. And this is totally absurd. <laughs> uh, you know, there's stuff like, uh, so if we were flying a helicopter over here, uh, they would launch missiles at us from the SAM launcher. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, do you even have to worry about all this equipment since you're no. not breaking stealth? No. Uh, also, this alarm here, you can <clears throat> shoot the alarm to disable it, which mm. if the alarm goes off, they call in helicopters. Um, Oh, shit. Did I fuck this up? No, no. Now you gotta play the game. No. I played it. Did you oh. see me playing the game there? Oh. Yeah, you, you kind of have some time. He didn't, he didn't raise an alarm. Yeah. Uh, right, here's a collectible over here. Let's just skulk over here and get it. What do we got? Always available to test the production. Mm. High tolerance to our product consumption. <laughs> Low initiative for everything that is not testing products. Huh. Sure. Imagine yeah. that. Yeah. All right. What gets you XP? Um, I mean, everything. Just killing people. Okay. Uh, you know, these are there are supplies. Uh, so this kind of feeds into the skill system. You find yeah. supplies like this out in the world. Like uh, these supplies. Are, oh, okay. There's the XP bar. Yeah. Yeah. Like the supplies are basically just. They came up with five kinds of currency to upgrade your skills. With. Right. So when we go over to the skill tree here, you see it it's takes not, skill points, but then you see down yeah. there in the lower right, all six 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 hundred and twenty five of your com. It's, yeah, it's not enough to have just resource. skill points. You need the relevant types of resources as well. Yeah, uh, and then there are collectibles that are that will further enhance some of these things. I, you know, going around the skill tree, I, I haven't really found much of it to be great. Uh, or like as I'm reading this stuff, going like, oh, how do I want to spec? Like none of this seems awesome. Um, Maybe, okay, harder to detect, that'd be good. Um, this car shield, is it just uh, It makes it when you, yeah, your vehicle, it's, yeah, vehicle health. Uh, and then there's another one for do more damage to enemy vehicles. But like stuff like this, like a uh, better zoom on the binocular, I was like, eh, mines, eh. Diversion lure to lure people around, like you don't need to lure them around, you just, just gun them down, it's fine. Um, carry more grenades, I guess, I don't know, like a flare gun, why would, okay. Attract enemy forces to a specific location. That doesn't actually seem useful uh, in, in, in as far as I've played so far. Uh, the game does uh, kind of let you take on different areas, uh, kind of how you would, you know, whatever order you want to go in. It, it starts you out in um, this area here. And, uh, you know, each, each area has a boss and a set of missions that lead you to that boss. Uh, some of the areas get kind of locked out until you've, uh, if you actually pull all the way out here. Uh, El sueño, sueño. Um, 
Like you have the to boss take, of bosses. You have to, yeah, you have, exactly. The boss <laughs> of bosses. Uh, Matt Rory is here uh, with his Bolivian operation. Uh, so to, in order for us to take out La Plaga, we have to take out, I believe, two of the... Oh, just like any two? Luchons. Yeah, any two. Uh, huh. And then... That seems like a whole lot of extra game that becomes optional at that point. I guess so. Yeah, I mean, you know, that's, if, that, if you that checks to... out with a lot of other open world games. Yeah, I guess so. In terms of, like, how much... But for, from what I've seen, like, each of these underbosses have, like... Like, they went and made video bios for each one of right. them. And, like, yeah. wrote story around each one of them. Mm -hmm. So, like, that's all... It seems like a lot of, like... Like authored story content, to which like it, leave on the table. If the story was better, I would feel a lot better about that stuff. Uh, but but I, I haven't really had that experience just mm -hmm. yet. Uh, yeah. So you know, like when you go first go to an area, like see, I wonder if we can actually. Yeah. So here here's an example of the briefings. It's kind of a lot of video. Santa Blanca yeah. cocaine production pipeline, led by El Yayo. Subtle. It all starts in the field with the harvesting of the Erythroxlum novogranitens, aka the coca plant. Of the 200 known species of Erythroxlum, mm -hmm. only two contain usable levels of cocaine, so you have to know what you're planting. El Yayo knows what he's planting. First, his people strip the leaves off the plant. Uh -huh. Then the leaves are dried, finely chopped, okay. and sent to the lab. Yep. That's where this chick comes in. <laughs> the gringa here is an American chemist with Mensa level IQ and sub zero morality numbers. They take the chopped leaves, dust them with lime. That's right, lime. Then pour diesel fuel all over them. Stir for three days. You can use a washing machine or a cement mixer, but Santa Blanca does it by hand. Then they mix all this shit with sulfuric acid, a dash of caustic soda, and bam, cocaine paste. You dry it. Cocaine Chuck underscore acid, paste. And mm, soon, that's you my got powder. hacker name. But now you have to purify it because no one wants to snort yellow powder. It's gross. So, a little more acid, some potassium permanganate, pyrolusite, hungry yet? Filter it with ammonia and beautiful, pure white cocaine. But everyone knows how to do this, right? What makes Santa Blanca so special? What makes SB a brand? Because they figured it out. How to mass produce a custom product, plant genetics, logistics, mechanization, state-of-the-art labs, production okay. of redundancies, quality control, purity of chemicals, and of course, the secret sauce. They're geniuses. They've taken coke production into the 22nd century. What Henry Ford did for the factory, they've done this for the This game's weird. It's the, really the, weird. The intro of the whole game, like the very first movie, where yeah. El Sueño's like laying out his vision of Bolivia. Right. Yeah, like his and narco he's, state. Yes, yeah, so he's referring to it as the first pure narco state. Like it's some like highfalutin yeah. political philosophy. <laughs> and then there are also other videos where they seem like keen to kind of remind you like, oh, the drug war, America's drug war has its consequences. And so like they're, they're doing the thing of like really not taking any kind of stand. Yeah. Um, which, you know, I don't know. And, and so the, the, it really the game is just me running around with a silenced rifle just gunning people down and, mm. and then you finish missions and you drive people off the road. Like it's, it's just kind of a dumb open world game. Yeah, I, I firmly believe that you would have to get three people together and play this with them to really get anything out of it from, from what I've seen. Yeah, maybe. Uh, yeah, uh, I, I think that you could have some fun with a group. Uh, I'm not having zero fun playing it alone. Um, I mean, it's totally competent yeah. by yourself from what uh, I've seen. But well, but, but like, it's, it's got some rough stuff. Like I was, you know, there's a, a mission I was doing where you had to interrogate a guy, uh, but his car rolled over, rolled down a mountain, so he was standing on a mountainside, and every time I hit the interrogate button, it broke out of the animation just mm. over and over and over again. Well, I mean, you know, it's uh, it's not a real game. It, yeah, some, exactly. Some jank will happen, but like, but I'm talking about just like the. The way these missions play out, even if you weren't kind of like sing shot cheesing your way through everything. Cheesing, whatever, man, it's in the game. Uh, but th the point is, like, it's a pretty stock standard third person shooter. Like, yeah. even when you're playing it as they want you to play it. Right, like, yeah, and, just and I, don't, of... I just don't think it, you know, like, you're, you're not very resilient. Like, that's how they kind of make the tactics matter, is like you just go down quickly, uh, which, you know, it, it's just. I don't think the encounters are particularly fun. Yeah, that's that's what I'm getting uh, at. Like, yeah, whether, whether you're in open combat or, or, or stealth or any of the play styles I've tried so far, it's all just been yeah, standard at best. Like you know, not not terrible, but but just kind of like hey, I, there are a lot of games out there like this, and I don't necessarily 
that's, that's like I was question. hoping it would be. I, I was hoping to have a lot more fun with it because the setting of just like weird Coke War stuff sounded kind of fun. But uh, I'm not just I did, that stuff hasn't really been a great time. Yeah. Yeah, like I just, you know, my, my hope is if you got people in here, some weird, un unexpected stuff would happen because shut the factory down for months. playing it by yourself, it's everything is expected. How about that? Any cocaine like, stocks we find. I don't, sure, I don't, yeah, I don't feel like at least it adds some randomness nothing, to it. Nothing but. surprising has happened to me while I was playing this by myself. Like things just, like the missions just play out kind of exactly like you would expect. Yeah, and, or, or worse, or, you know, and, and that means, like, sometimes things are broken because it's an open world game. And, and I've just had some, some real rough stuff happen along the way, too. Uh, Alright, are there people over there, does it look like? Mm, how did I clear everybody out? Uh, I, I see some heat to the right. Yeah, there's definitely still. Yeah, so, like, this guy's just walking around the open, you know, just whatever. Unless that heat also comes off of the equipment? I don't think it does. Then, then, then there's like two or three more people over there. Like over here, you mean? These guys? There's definitely a guy by the road. Yeah. There's that guy. Um... So you can expand the, you know, one of the more useful skills I've found is just making the drone better at being out longer. So I have a little more time to just kind of mark targets and stuff. Uh, Fuck me. This place is huge. The intel said they converted an old slaughterhouse into a cocaine factory. Yeah, yeah but I figured that was typical cartel bullshit. Uh, this, this so is something tired. else. Wow, Makes no difference the to me. There, you know. The bigger they are, the hotter they burn. Know what I'm saying? You know, problem solved. <laughs> Delegating. All right, so it looks like there could be some action in here because this this place is all closed up. It's time to destroy this cocaine. Yes. How would how would you destroy cocaine? Ah, like, uh, you burn it. You can. Well, yeah. I don't think it burns though. Like you burn weed. That makes sense. Well, you know, you burn a hot enough. I mean, you know, how do you, like, how do you dispose of a powder though? Isn't it just gonna kind of go everywhere if you try to blow it up? Perhaps. Yeah. Get down. Oh. Uh, so you can go down once in a fight, and teammates will come and revive you. Uh, if you die while you're playing online, you're just kind of out for 45 seconds, and then you, you get right back to... That sounds useful. Is that guy still in here? He is. Oh, oh no, it's right. Any kind of heal or over besides healing over time? I just, yeah, it's just a heal over time. I wonder... I probably need to... Frag out. All right, cocaine destroyed. Yep. Oh, there's a helicopter up there, huh? Frag out. I probably should have shot the alarm. Let's take it out. Can I just shoot these drugs? Hurry. Eyes up. Let's get back to work. Actually, I guess I can actually take out any cocaine stocks you find. Get more grenades that way, but let's find out. They, they put that Frag ammo out. in there specifically because you need explosives to do this. Did I fucking miss? Frag out. Stockpile destroyed. Let's go. All right. Okay. Do any action out here or just, just a helicopter? Wow. I was about to ask if you could take down a helicopter that way, and then you did. That seems a little extreme. Yeah. <laughs> that was like one clip from a standard assault like, rifle. I, was, I, I switched my LMG, oh, okay. but it was still not that much. The helicopter just kind of died. The drone is up. Uh oh. <laughs> huh. All right. Got it. Sniper out there. Okay. Are there difficulty settings? Yeah, this is normal. Okay. 
I mean, if you really want to get serious about this game and like each of each of your friends was like spotting for each other, you know. Maybe, I yeah. See, I could see this being fun from a tactical perspective if you really had to work to get through these encounters. The thing is, is, is spotting is you doing this, and then that's going to highlight it on everyone's screen. So, it, like, the, the vocal aspect of saying, hey, there's a guy over here, like, it becomes, like, a little reduced uh, just by virtue of, like, that getting marked on everyone's HUD. You know? Like, everyone's going to know where everyone is. Let's see if he lines up this third sink shot. Ready to engage. Okay, that's still just Tango down. Okay. That's it, we're clear. I feel like the tools at your disposal could be more enjoyable to use. Like there's something sickly enjoyable about the sink shot <laughs> as being like, oh well I'm just way overpowered compared to these idiots, but that's Maybe not the most exciting uh, way to go. Okay, there's probably gonna be people in here. Like the last one. I Let's guess, go. Huh? Frag out. Got eyes on a cocaine stockpile. Let's get eyes on cocaine stockpile. Frag out. Load up. I also think I have, yeah, I have C4. I got the C4 primed. Uh, I wonder if I can put two out or if this is gonna blow up the first one. Demo's yeah. primed and in place. Boy, I wish I knew how to set off C4. <laughs> oh, it's not that. I hold down L1. Yeah. Destroyed. Let's keep moving. Okay. Oh. Damn, that was a shitload of polvo we just wrecked. Somebody's gonna be pissed. Right. So put Elanisario's nuts in a vice. We'll have to come out of hiding to deal with the fallout, and then he's ours. I, so much of the dialogue is is so rotten, or or so poorly delivered, where it's just like these very basic-sounding dumbasses just kind of reading lines and sounds like a guy playing a guy in a booth. Yeah, yeah. Here's the schedule for an SB helicopter used to ferry supplies around. Rebels need that stuff. Let's go get it for them. Train to come through. All right, so that was that mission, and then what else do we got in this area here? Uh, it's worth like driving around or getting in that helicopter. Yeah, sure, yeah. Uh, the AI guys will warp to you. Hang on, I'll drive. <laughs> and we got two in there, and I find, I find that there's a third. Extra amusing when they all pop into the helicopter. Yeah. Uh, I think like a, a lot of the open world kind of driving stuff is we weird because so much of the terrain is this kind of like cliffside or mountainous type stuff, mm -hmm. uh, where like you find yourself just like, well, I guess I can either follow this windy road or just barrel down the side of this mountain, which sometimes works, sometimes doesn't. Uh, and like the guys in the back don't react at all to you like really wrecking up the car. Uh, oh, water, go to water. Okay, I might as well. <laughs> this game needs more of that. I, like, I feel like it needs to go hard one way or the yes. other. It either needs to be like way more broken and fucking weird. Um, or actually genuinely good. And or, right now it's it's so split down the middle, like parts of it are really hilarious, but not in a necessarily intentional way. That's, um, that's a skill point on the map, I feel like I should point out right in front of you. All right. I just, I just find the idea of the skill points being collectible is kind of weird. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I... You also get them for leveling up. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Know, it's not the only way to get them, but... I know I've harped on this before, but like I... I feel like I just wanted a multiplayer just cause out of this, you know? Yeah, it's not explosive enough. Like it's the, not it's not ridiculous and over the top enough. Yeah. Um, just, you know, like these, it, like there are side missions that are repeat. Like every single region, it seems like has like these types of side missions, 
like, hey, stop the convoy. Hey, uh, tag this set of supplies. Um, you know, st you know, there's a lot of raids like that, like steal the food helicopter. Like, it's just the kind of the same stuff every region you go to. And that was frustrating, too. Like, the the main mission design hasn't been awesome. The tango. But then to have, like, all this side stuff get repeated from place to place, like, it's just, uh, Target it's, it's kind it's of immediately, immediately repetitive. Yeah. And baby makes three. Oh, well, there it is. Yeah, there it is. I would say one out of every three times you mark a third target, it says, and baby makes three. It's consistent, disturbing. I don't know, maybe this is not a fair comparison, but like having this and Zelda come out right up against each other. Well, I mean, that's. that was a really you know, stark contrast as far as open world games. Like, how long do they spend making Zelda? It's almost not a fair comparison for any game. Well, uh, uh, I think I read like four years. Okay, right, well, maybe, that's maybe it's maybe not like that crazy. It's hard to lose this. I think with all their money, the cartel would make a nicer metal. But the bigger point is that, like, this this is everything that most modern wor open world games are, right? Like, it's a bunch of checklists and, and yeah. repeated mission types and stuff like that. Right. It's not to say that, like, Zelda doesn't have specific activities that repeat over and over. Mm -hmm. but the whole thing just feels so much more dynamic. And also, I, I think that, like, games with this type of checklist mentality... Also, notice my guys are not shooting at him. <laughs> he hasn't it's because we're just in hunted state. He hasn't opened fire yet. Maybe, That's because maybe. he can't see this guy because it's an AI guy. Maybe he just wants to he talk. He has to turn around and see me before he activates. Maybe he's rethinking his life of crime. Uh... I've got the target. You probably acquire that guy. He's right in front of you. Thank you. He's down. We're good. We all in one piece? Uh, yeah, you know, I've had plenty of fun with open world games that boil down to checklists before, and, sure. I, I'm, not, and I'm not entirely burned out on the so, formula. So have I, but, um, but... But this one just, you know, uh, I think it's, it's, it's pretty boring. I've, uh, I've had a ton of fun with a lot of Ubisoft open world games. Yeah, definitely, like, yeah. Like, Alpha. quite a few of them. There they are. There's one of them. Right, I'm in. Are we still missing a guy? No, he's there. Oh, he's okay. Yeah, there he is. All right, so which, where should we go? Um, let's go over here because this is where we're gonna unlock the next mission. Is that just a collectible. Yeah, yeah. So like sometimes for the main missions, it's like you need to get in here and find this collectible, and then that opens up the next mission. Eventually, the most of the areas or the, the areas I've done so far of like you'll do some of this, and then. It'll finally just go like, all right, this mission chained to another mission. You don't have to go find some other intel file to uh, do the next thing. Um, but yeah, like I, you know, I, I agree. Yeah, there's probably some fun to be had playing it with friends, but also I feel like you would be markedly worse off by not playing with AI because of how overpowered they are. So it's been this thing of like, oh, you know, like I would like to play some multiplayer, it'd be fun, but like, eh, not having my AI guys with me makes this way less uh, interesting because suddenly everything is like, like a, it's a more active shootout and that's fine, but I don't know that I think that the, the shooting is necessarily fun enough on its own for that to be a better experience. I'm actually kind of more enjoying having this overpowered experience of just like, ah, fuck it. Speaking of ah, fuck it. I was waiting. Ah, fuck it. Oh, okay. I was going to ask, what does order assault do? Uh, it it basically helicopter? means like if, if you, so if you've been spotted and you're being pursued, they will start shooting. Your ah. AI guys will start shooting. Oh, okay. But in the case of like, if you just want to start some shit, you push up on the D-pad and it kind of sets them to active and oh. then they will start actively shooting enemies even if you haven't been spotted. Oh, this is maybe not a good spot to parachute into, considering all the heat that is here. Let's see if we can just land on this rooftop and... Oh, uh. Y'all didn't see nothing. Drone is airborne. And then it's like your three guys just kind of show up like... Well, in this case, they didn't show up right near me, but... They're like Elvis's band in all those movies where it's just like he starts singing and suddenly there are dudes behind him. Got another tank. Position. Target's marked. Just say the word. Who need that chopper? Stay low. Eyes on the target. I don't have a shot. 
Bad guys are three. marked. Waiting on you, boss. Eyes on good. What do you mean, waiting on me? Two of them haven't been acquired yet. Roger, don't acquired. Ready. Call the shot. That's one less bad guy. Eyes on a narco Spartan with a submachine gun. Tell me where. Over by the crate of con here. I like that. Yeah, when, that's when when they spot a guy for you, and then there's also dialogue to say where they are. Yeah, that's what I was talking about earlier. Yeah, like, like uh, where they are and like what they're armed with and stuff like that. Yeah, like that, that's a neat amount of context to give you in, in dialogue. I think a lot of the radio stuff's pretty bad. Mm. I would have heard of it so far. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, it, it's. I'm, I'm mostly disappointed because I, I think that this this game had some real potential. I know you came out of E3 with some some questions about it. Yeah. Uh, but I still was kind of holding out hope, going like, ah, this seems like it could very much be my kind of game. Oh well, this the final product is way more polished and functional than what I saw at E3. Well, yeah, but but also like I, I also think it's like just kind of boring. Um, like they they cleaned that stuff up. That that that's not an issue. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I can see where you're coming from. And also, like, I, they probably needed more tools. Like, I think about. I'm just trying to think about like how people play games today. Like, this is a game that like I feel like the only way you would ever recommend it is probably like, hey, if you're gonna get four copies and you got four friends and you're gonna play all the way through it, there's some fun to be had. Yeah. But that's a big if. And I think a lot of people are, are just kind of jumping into the games. Like the game, very like. Like, right out of the gate, it's like, hold X to join matchmaking. Like, it very much wants you to join public matchmaking. Yeah, that seems and, and that, like a risky problem. Yeah, and I, I've, tr I've spent some time doing that, and I think it's terrible uh, playing with, with other, with, with, with strangers. Because it is so communication heavy, and because coordination of some kind is, is needed, like, the game doesn't feel like it has the tools for that to work. Uh, and... Ready to fire. And and that's just a, a bummer. I don't know. Like I, I wonder if like if maybe if, if better tools could have been crafted to better facilitate strangers playing together or 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 what. I'm not, not sure what the actual answer is, but uh, I'm pretty sure that shipping something that you can only enjoy in pair in like sets of four is probably uh, a losing proposition. Mm, yeah. All right. Well, let's just run off this rooftop and see what happens. You'll be fine. Yeah. Okay. Are we are we at the point where the like the innovations of Far Cry Three have finally kind of run out of steam? I think Cause so. Because this this, this game kind of feels like an entire game built around like the cool side stuff from Far Cry Three. Checking out the lab return of like, like remember how, Sorry, how much damn fun it was taking over all, yeah. those, all those outposts? Yeah, and but you know, then Far Cry 4 came out pretty quickly, and you know, like Primal was a different <clears> thing, but it was enough of that to where you went like, oh, maybe I don't just want to play any game with these things in it. And so I feel like this game is like a further reminder of that. It's like, oh, you know, like having those features is not necessarily going to immediately lead to me like liking a game. Cereal, or the Air Force or something. And that's like the tenth time he's made that joke about the metal looking like it came from cereal or the Air Force. Uh, like not enough dialogue. Oh, you poorly, mean poorly? You, you mean the Chair Force? Yeah, yeah. Uh, poorly uh, performed dialogue. Mm. Like, like that's the stuff that I think could probably help cover over uh, some of the more repetitive things in this game, or, or some of the more monotonous things in this game. If it, like the writing had been better, uh, but just out of the gate, that stuff is is just rough. Can you view those epic skills? Can it, does it, will, will you highlight what that is? Yeah. Increase weapon, weapon accuracy at long range. I am more most excited about advanced suppressor. I'm giving up a lot of damage right now by mm. wearing the, by having the silencer on. You can easily take it off yeah. uh, and put it back on and stuff, but uh, to just never have to worry about that ever would be good. So, and and that, and that's the thing is like some part of me is like, oh, when I hit level 14, that'll be a useful skill. So like I'm like I said, I'm, I'm not having zero fun with this game, but it's just, I don't know, it, it just, it it's really kind of doubling down on that checklist style of open world design and and then having the all the other stuff around it be uh, pretty bad. 
in terms of the writing and story and, and a lot of that stuff, like, like really sinks it, I think. Uh, this game has potential. I, I feel like this game has a lot of unrealized potential, I mm -hmm. guess I would say. Uh, but there you have it. Wild. That is man. wild lands. Yeah. Uh, it's time to get wild with this drone. Yeah. Kind of wildly send this drone off and <laughs> make it murder for me. Future's wild. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, I'll, I'll probably continue futzing around with it and, and probably play some more. Like, I, you know, you've seen the message. We, we actually can't stay connected. I was, I was going to say, like, I was just about to suggest, because we've got four copies of this. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say, maybe we should actually sit down and give it no, an honest we, try. We, I mean, I blew but, 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 yeah, an hour what, on, know, know, on that, the line with Alex that's and what Vinny. I'm, that's what I'm saying. That, that was, that, then I realized, oh, wait, right. Like, we kind of can't with this network situation. <laughs> yeah, you know, and, and I can play it at home and it works fine. Uh, so uh, I, I, uh, that's, that's, but it's also not just our network. Like I, I've seen complaints from other people, yeah. you know, with in, in a situation where they've got a strict NAT uh, and just cannot play the game, uh, which that sucks. Open your NAT. I mean, I, I have the openest NAT in the world at home. My NAT is open as F. Um, and I'm probably going to get a hold of our IT department and be like, look, Ubisoft keeps breaking multiplayer in all their games, yeah. so you're going to need to hook us up with something. All right, well, because we still have to try to cover these games. A couple months from now, then we'll get back around to this. Yeah, we'll have our big steep, steep uh, Wildlands Fest. Um, but yeah, like I said, there, there, there was some stuff on, online that I saw other people saying, like, oh, is anyone having trouble in a strict NAT? And it's like, yeah, just straight up and doesn't work. So. Uh, so know that also, folks at home. Yeah. Target lost. Oh, no. That's Wildlands. Acquire that target.